Friends, welcome to the comparison between two processors used in mobile phones. One is the Snapdragon 821 and the other one is the Exynos 8890. We'll be considering their latest offerings. So to begin with, both the Snapdragon 821 and the Exynos 8890 use the 14 nanometer processor technology. The Snapdragon uses the Adreno 530 GPU clocked at 653 MHz, whereas the Exynos uses the Mali T880 graphic GPU which is clocked at 650 MHz. So basically, the processor size and the GPU frequency are more or less the same on both the processors. Now, which processor has advantage over the other? So the first difference is, the Snapdragon comes with quad-core processor which means there are four cores, whereas the Exynos has more number of cores and this is where it takes advantage. It is an octa-core, it has eight cores as you can see here. More the cores, more the threads, the better it is. So basically the Exynos takes a lead. Now Snapdragon 821 has two cores clocked at 2.4 GHz speed and the other two cores are clocked at 2 GHz. Whereas the Exynos has four cores which are clocked at 2.3 GHz and the other four are clocked at 1.6 GHz. So my friends, the Exynos takes further lead because it has something called as the Advanced Heterogeneous Multiprocessing which is HMP. Now what this does is, it can use all the cores at the same time or it can use a single core depending upon what task you perform on the device. So if you're doing a particular task on your mobile phone which does not require very high-end processing, it is going to use this low-end cores which means less battery consumption rather than using the high-end cores. Unfortunately, the Snapdragon does not have the advanced HMP feature. So friends, if you talk about the processing power, the CPU, I believe the Exynos 8890 has an edge over the Snapdragon 821. With Exynos, you'll get better multitasking as well as better battery life. Now, let me tell you which phones use the Snapdragon 821 high-end processor, the Xiaomi Mi Note 2 and the Xiaomi Mi Mix. The Google Pixel phone uses a slightly weaker version of the Snapdragon 821 processor than the one I'm considering here for the comparison. And the phones that use Exynos 8890 are the Mizu Pro 7 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 and Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, those which are primarily sold in Asia and Europe and not the ones which are sold in United States. Friends, if you like the comparison and if it helped you decide which phone you should buy, then please like the video. Also, you would like to click on the bell icon and subscribe to the channel for the new upcoming videos. Let me know in the comment section if you have more thoughts on this and if you like to see such comparisons in the future.